Me and my mom just got back and we got lots more goodies. Look at all this stuff. We also got little signs in the front right here. First birthday girl, we got two, so we're gonna put those outside our front door. We went to icing, we went to Claire's, we went to Bath and Body Works, we went to the party store. Gotta finish decorating. Look at the cute little unicorn my mom found for the girls. Adorable. Wait, where's the other one? It's gotta be somewhere in all these bags, mom. <laughs> Baby toes, baby toes. Hi, Max. Happy birthday, Mia and Sophia. How old are we? How old are we? We're one years old today. Yes, we are. Are we wearing our birthday outfits? These are from Grandma. Look how cute you look in your birthday girl outfit. Birthday girl outfit. You have so many outfits to wear today. Are you gonna have a party? Are we gonna have a party? Yes, yes, I know you're excited, Lucy. Where's Max? Where's Max? <laughs> Happy birthday. Lucy. <laughs> you're so you're funny. Hello, where are we going? Okay, bye-bye. Where are we going? We can just do anything we want on our birthday, can't we? Okay, bye-bye. Welcome back to the vlog. Today is Mia and Sophia's first birthday. So of course I thought I would vlog it right before the party starts. And I'm just gonna go through everything and I'm gonna also let you guys know where I found everything. And I think I'm just gonna start over here, but this is pretty much right like when you walk into our house, what you see in the front. Um, so we actually put up this banner yesterday, which I think looks really cute. And I actually just got this off Amazon. So it says birthday. And it's all in the unicorn colors. And of course, clearly we can tell what the theme is. So I did unicorn, fairy tale, princess, all combined into one birthday. Um, mostly unicorn though. They have unicorn outfits. Um, so I'm gonna start right over here on this little table I have. So this is actually from the nursery. And I love it, it's just so whimsical and it looks like a unicorn. Uh, so right here we have a birthday card that they got from Trish. And Trish is actually the one that made all the cakes, so I will explain that and tell you guys a little bit about that after. If like, you're in the Toronto area, definitely use her. She is amazing. Right here we also have these little headbands, which I will leave a link down below on the shop I got these from. She just sent them and they're so adorable. And there's all different kinds, so I just put them as decor because they're so pretty. Right here we have a little unicorn and then a cat castle and these are all just from the nursery these two things right here right here I thought I'd put like a little unicorn treasure box and I got this at home sense and on the front here it just says dreamers super cute and it's just on this little stand I have and then on the inside here I have all the other headbands that they got for their birthday so she makes unicorn ones these are unicorn as well this actually looks like their cake and then coffee lattes right there we have castles more little unicorns and then mermaids these are so so cute and i just put tissue below it so that they could be a little bit higher and people can see them and then right over here i actually got these yesterday because we have a lot of like little girls coming so i wanted to make sure that they all had like a little unicorn ears so i actually got these all from icing they were having like a buy three get three free so i'm actually gonna wear this one today and then i have a ton of other ones which are like rose gold they're super pretty of course i probably put unicorns everywhere that I could so they are everywhere all over the house little unicorns and over here this is their present galore so these are all presents right here from me Ryan and my mom like that's it I can't imagine how full this is gonna be once we have guests arrive so lots and lots of presents for the two princesses uh, so yeah a lot of the bags I got from home sense are all unicorn I have like a few donut ones that I got so there's a donut one right there of course I did pink tissue these right here are actually from their aunt and uncle 
Brie and George, so that's a really cute little bag right there. I also found this the other day. I'm so excited about that because they love playing with our diaper bags. So I thought they could play with this one since it's so much bigger and it's actually a unicorn. How cute is that? So me and my mom found this at Marshall's the other day. It's even got little lashes. It's so soft. I think they're going to freak when they see that. Uh, and then they can pull stuff out of it because they really like going in my purse. They like going into the diaper bag. So I just think they'll have a lot of fun with that. So what I will try to do, I'll try to get someone to film when I'm opening some presents with the girls and you guys can kind of see like what they got, but I'm pretty sure I'll probably do a vlog of like what they got for their first birthday. And then right over here, I just tried to put like some little decor pieces and pictures of the girls. Look how cute this is. So we just got some pictures. I got that off Amazon actually. I just thought it would be a really cute way on like putting up like the little pictures from the sticker book that I have. Right there we have a little tutu bag and then on um, this Venus at Flora, I actually got this for the Valentine's Day shoot we did. So I just thought I could display that. And then right here we have, these are so cute actually. I got these from the party store the other day. So it's just one and you can wear these, but I wanted to use these as decor and of course it's unicorn colors It goes with the theme. So my mom actually put them right here and I think they look good. Okay headed to the other side right here uh, So I put the coasters out of me and Sophia. These are my absolute favorite. I can't even use these they are so cute They are always out though for display and then right here. We have some birthday cards So we have the unicorn cake one, which I love we also have this one Which I have a feeling a lot of people are gonna get this one we go together like unicorns and glitter So cute such a twin card right here These are from my uncle and aunt and then we have some pictures that I put up or I've always had those up So I just kept those out right here. These are actually prizes So I think the girls are gonna freak when they see this uh, I found all sorts of stuff like look at these cool hair brushes I found from icing and then they also have like I went to Bath and Body Works I got some unicorn socks I found uh, I think they'll like these too just like little stuffies unicorn stuffies little llama unicorn super cute um, There's some fun prizes in here makeup bags under here. There's actually a really cute unicorn bag that I found, maybe it's in this one. There's so much stuff. I like can't even get over how much stuff I found. That was so cute right here. Look at this. So this was from Bath and Body Works. I think they are going to love this. So lots of fun prizes. Uh, there's all sorts of stuff that I found from like the party store that they could play with. So like little unicorn lip balms right here. Anything unicorn I got and then I threw into the bag. So they're gonna be playing games outside. And then I also have gift bags anyway, so these are just like other gifts that they could have. I went a little crazy with it, but I'm just so excited. Right here, these are the unicorn bags I'm talking about. So these are actually their gift bags for the girls. So I have uh, the little stars that Trish made here. These are actually little um, like cookie wands that she made, which are so adorable. I freaked when I saw those. And these bags are from the party store. I also put their little um, invitations here as well in the bag, which I thought would be really cute to keep. And and of course, goes with the unicorn theme. So I'm gonna put that back in here. And then what else do we have? I might as well show you guys right now. We also have some uh, popcorn that Trish made too. So she actually did it in pink, which is super awesome. And caramel, which is gold, which is the theme that I went with. So I'm just gonna put that back in here. And then we have one boy coming actually. So I just tried to find whatever I could to make it like Spider-Man themed. So there's some goodies in there for him. But yeah, we've got all those there done, ready to go for the little ones. Okay, so right here, this is probably one of my favorite little areas. So, so cute. Ryan and I actually just put up this unicorn. This is by Vaney. So she also makes all of the wallflowers. She also does the bears. So she is perfect if you guys are throwing like any birthdays or any fun parties. These are amazing to use. So usually you'd put the flowers right here, but I wanted to put the flowers above our cake. Uh, but I did, I think this looks awesome too, just like this, which is so cute. I love it, love it, love it. And then right in this little area right here, I just have this gold bench. So I wanted to use this area because when we do the presents, I think that you know some of the girls will sit right here. And I know if me and Sophia are over here, they love to stand up on this bench and use it to stand up. So I just thought this would be a cute little area for them. And then we have their books right here. Unicorn, we have their little unicorn. Stuffed animals, we have this little unicorn basket. Me and Sophia are saying hi in the background. And then these are actually, Vaney made these for the girls too. Look how pretty these are. So we didn't have a chance to hang them, but I wanted to use them as decor, which are just so cute. So I put that like that. Um, and it says Sophia down there. 
Right here, I got this unicorn the other day. It's for the girls for their birthday. Look how cute. This is like one of the cutest little unicorns I've ever seen, and I got this at Indigo. And then right down here, I actually ordered these off Etsy. So they wore these when they did their smash cake, which you'll see photos. If I have a photo, I'll plop it in right here of them smashing their cake, and they wore these headbands. So I got two different kinds of headbands. The other ones are more colorful. These ones are just the pink and gold, which is more for some of the classic photos I wanted to keep and take. So. Um, I wanted to switch up their headbands, which these are so cute. So I'll leave a link down below on pink and gold headband, and then also one for the unicorn headband. So these right here, it says magical birthday, and then I got like so many balloons, you guys. I think I went to the party store like five times. It was crazy. Uh, so I got tons of the big pink ones right here. I got as many as I could get. And then obviously I blew up a ton yesterday, which by the way, if you're gonna blow up a lot of balloons, get the little Amazon machine for 40 bucks and that thing saved my life. I did this so fast, which was awesome and it was easy. So it was very seamless and I would definitely recommend getting one. So this area right here is my favorite. This is where we did their birthday shoot because I told you guys the day before the party I wanted to have the photo shoot to make sure that I got amazing photos. So it was nice having everything set up before the party, but I still had to run and go get stuff yesterday with my mom. But right here, this is where I thought I actually bought a Polaroid camera just for this area right here because I thought the girls could take photos and I could have keepsakes as well from their first birthday so we can take lots of photos right here and you'll see I bought the Polaroid camera yesterday from Indigo and as for the balloons I wanted to do big pink ones I wanted to do small little unicorn ones and then right here we have all of the bears that Vaini made which are unicorn and then also the hearts so they did lots of photos with these for their birthday shoot right here we have the little unicorn look how cute that is these are honestly the sweetest thing that you can get I think for any younger birthday, they're just such a cute idea. I would love these for my birthday, to be honest. Like, they're so cute. And then right here, these number ones, I got these from the party store. And then for decor, I just use these little fluffy things that I got from the party store as well. I thought that'd be really cute. And then right here, I love this. I actually think I got this on Amazon, I'm pretty sure. I got so much stuff, I have to remember. But this will be down in the description, so I'll put like one banner so you guys will know what it is. But I liked it because it had the crowns. So I thought that was really cute. Now I'm thinking I got this from Etsy. I might have got that from Etsy. And then right here we have more of the ones, which it came in a set, so I really like the fact I could put ones everywhere. And then right here we just have, I have to also throw before they get here, more balloons in the back to make it look more full, but there's lots of pink and white balloons going on. These ones actually had confetti in them, and like one popped in my car, and there's confetti everywhere. I still have not cleaned it. Uh, we also have the white little unicorn bear right here, which is adorable. I think they're gonna have so fun in this area though, because I can just see them taking so many little Polaroid pictures and having fun and I just thought that would be a really cute little area. Okay, so now saving the best for last, we have the main area right here. This is the sweet treats where their birthday cakes are, where all the fun, all the magic is happening. So this took me the longest, I'd say, and just getting all the decorations, getting it set up. It took me a while. I probably changed it like a hundred times. Huh, but I really like the way that it turned out and of course I'm gonna talk about this first This is one of my favorite photos of the girls. This is one of the first photos taken It was a week after they were born and you can just see how different they look here before they looked like super identical now So of course we have on the right Mia Sophia on the left and right here These are the wallflowers that Vaini made so this is where I wanted to put them like right below the pictures of the girls I think that was perfect, but you can put them like with the unicorn as well and then right back here So I got these little cupcake tears off Amazon and I was amazed like these are so cute so birthday themed it reminded me of like Sailor Moon right down here we have all the macarons I just bought these the other day uh, so we have I just tried to get like as many colorful macarons that I could get they didn't have light colors but if I would have done it now I would have probably ordered lighter colors like pastels but I still think it looks good and then right here we have the little mini unicorn bears these are also by Vaini so super super cute and these they've had for a little bit now, but I thought they would look so cute out for decor. And then in the back here, we have all sorts of cake pops that Trish made. A lot of them have gold foils. Some of them have like sprinkles and they're all a little different, which is awesome. I think the kids will actually be obsessed with these. And I just think they're such a cute little party idea. That's what they look like there. So she made a ton of these and they can probably take some to go because there's so many as you guys can see look how many of the cake pops there i have like two more boxes filled 
And then right over here, I might as well go to the best part, their birthday cake. Look how cute this is. Oh my goodness, I freaked when I saw this. I could not believe how beautiful the castle was. And I knew I wanted to do a castle for their first birthday because they're princesses. And then right here, we have me and Sophia written on the front here, which is adorable. Just the attention to detail though, like I can't get over how detailed her cakes are. They are so beautiful. So I'm sure I have some photos right here to share with you because I did get a few photos, professional ones done, of the cake from Erin as sneak peeks. So I wanted to share a few in this uh, video. Right here, I had a lot of questions actually when I posted the little gold glitter letters. So these are actually from the party store and they're very glittery so they're only going to be on the table. Be careful because they're like, they come off really easily, the glitter. So I just got M and S. So I thought that looked really cute. Right here we have more of those to-go star ones. So these are just such a nice little to-go idea for the kids. And they're just little cookies. I thought those were super cute. And that was Trish's idea, which I really fell in love with. I think that was an awesome idea for their first birthday. Right here I have just a little crown, which I thought would look really cute in front of the cake. And then right over here I just have more of those cake pops. So she actually put sprinkles, like pink sprinkles on the bottoms of these ones, which are so detailed and so cute. And I just think that's gonna be so fun. So I just put some out right here. I just want it to look like full of sweets and like all that good stuff, you know? And then right here we have the girl's birthday cake. So they actually did a smash cake. So I had to get two of these. One was a smash, which I have a photo here. I'll attach of the girls smashing their first cake ever, which was so adorable. They didn't really know what to do, but I think they still enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I got this one done for the birthday today. And everyone will eat this one and look at the attention to detail on this part. I need to get up close to this because I don't know how she does this. Look at that. It's so whimsical. It's so beautiful. It's just gorgeous. I can't get over what an amazing job she did. And right here we have the lashes on the front. This actually wraps around the icing right here. So I want to show you the back of the unicorn as well. That's what that looks like there. It looks so delicious. I don't even know how you can cut through it though. It's so beautiful. <laughs> right there, wow. And then the ears, we've got the horn, which we did in gold because my whole theme was kind of like, I wanted to incorporate gold as well uh, with some of the sweet treats. So I, I told her light colors, but then of course a pop of gold, which I love. So I think that looks really good. And then we also have first birthday napkins right here. I just got these from the party store. And then right over in this area here. So I still have this. If you guys remember, I did um, an unboxing of a unicorn when they had the unicorn collection come out. They had makeup in this. I thought it'd be cute though for decor and it just goes with the theme so much. So it says Too Faced right there. And yeah, look how cute though. It looks really nice right here. So this picture right here, I actually ordered off Etsy. Thank God it came in time. So it says twice the smiles, twice the love. And the picture frame I have is just from Indigo. But I wanted to have like a really cute little frame. And uh, I just love all the twin sayings. So I wanted to get something custom for them. Right here, I just put these little headbands on here just to make it more like unicorn themed. And then we have like forks and stuff in there. So this right here is actually done by Champagne Bizu. She makes little like champagne bottles that you guys can do for like birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, and stuff like that. They're so cute. She actually has ones with the girls' names on it, but this one was actually from one of my branding shoots that I did. So it says Unicorn Vibes, but of course that's very me and Sophia. And then right here we have also unicorn napkins. This came in a set I got off Amazon. And then right here, just a little dish that I have, which I just thought would be really cute out for decor. And moving back over here. So right here we have a little pinata unicorn, which I actually got these at the party store. I thought they were so cute to use as decor. Look how cute. So I just put that there. I also put the one right there as well that I'd show you on this side. It's a little bit of a better angle so you can see the little unicorn pen. I think those were like a dollar, the little unicorn pinatas. And then right here we have another one that I have, which I told you I got that in a set from the party store. So it's just nice to put like a little bit everywhere. And then right here I actually put a ton of Trish's cake pops in just like a little glass, which I think looks so cute. And you can just see all her like work and detail that she put into the cake pops. I am just loving how everything is so unicorn. There's so many unicorns. <laughs> so that is pretty much everything on this table. I think I went through everything. So I hope you had a full nice look at how I did everything. If I could change a few things, it would just be the macarons. I wish I would have had a custom order to get lighter colors because they are a little bit darker. I mean, everything's a little bit colorful today. So it's, I think it looks fine. Yeah, finally. Okay, so this section here. 
I almost forgot. Okay, so right here we have more first birthday napkins. Right here we have double the love. Now this was a banner, but I didn't want to actually hang this. I knew I wanted to have it out for like um, on the table somehow. So I just put it here and it says double the love. It's so cute because we already hung so many things, which I'll show you in a second. So I just thought this would look nicer on the table. So right in the section here, I just told you, I showed you the uh, champagne bisous. So these are actually the bottles she made for the girls when they were born. So it says Mia and Sophia. They're so bedazzled and beautiful. Let's get up close. So stunning. And then we have another unicorn bear back there. We have some more macarons on that tier, so I wanted to do two. Right here, I got these candies from Marshalls, which I'm so happy I found them because I wanted pink and white candy. And then this glass right here, or not glass, this is like plastic, but bedazzled uh, container that I got. This was actually from the party store and then it came with like a little scooper, which I think is perfect. Right here we have all the plates for the girls and the guests. So we have large plates, we have small plates. This came in a set from Amazon, which I actually was shocked that I got these off Amazon because I think they're actually really beautiful. It almost looks like custom plates from Etsy. So I'll leave a link down below on the exact ones that I got and I was really happy with these. I think they're beautiful. Over here we have the photo frame right here that Bling Art For You made for the girls and it's one of my favorite photo frames in the world. I think the detail on this is just insane. Like it's so beautiful and so custom. So I put, this is actually the back side of their invitation so I wanted to frame that. And then right here we have more unicorns, little pinatas. And then right here we have a picture of the girls. I got this frame actually from the party store. So they were like, I think two or three dollars. And then just a picture of the girls. Right here I got them bracelets, M&S. These are from Etsy and they're like custom made. And then right here we have like a little rainbow jar. These are the cups for the kids that I got from the party store. We have some spoons. And then right here we have, okay, so I got these champagne glasses, little toots from the party store. And I thought they would be really cute. I didn't think people would actually use them, so I wanted to use them as decor. And then people could take these out. And it's just like the little stars that I have, the little cookie stars. So I just thought that would be a little neat idea to do. And also it makes for good decor, but it's also easy for people to grab. So yeah, that is this table right here. So let's go a little bit further so you guys can see it. It is a little wrinkly, but that's okay. But I think it looks beautiful. I think it looks so nicely done. I loved how I put the cake right in the middle because I think that is going to be the showpiece for today. I almost forgot to show you guys this. So right here, this is the unicorn headpiece that I'm gonna wear today. Look how cute that is. I got that from icing. And then right here, we also have their bibs. I got these custom made on Etsy. So I will leave a link down below on their cake bibs. And I got one pink and one white, which I thought would be really cute. So I just left them right here because I actually don't know where to put these right now. And and then once I get ready, which I haven't, it's early in the morning, so that's when I'm filming this, and I will maybe plop in at the end here what my outfit is, which I'm gonna be a unicorn for today for the girls. And clearly there are just balloons everywhere. Like everywhere there are balloons. And I love this little area right here. I think it's so cute. Just showing you guys this area one more time. And okay, so right in this section, I wanted to have something, uh, to hang their banner that's one to 12 months and at first I had no idea where to put this like at all but I think this is the perfect space because it goes into our kitchen which is where we're going to be serving food we have it catered today which our kitchen is a mess <laughs> right now and nothing's set up so we're going to be doing that once the food gets here and then also Ryan and my mom are just helping clean so yeah, we still have some stuff to do because it's early in the morning. And right here, so look how cute this is. I got this on Amazon, I believe. And I just think it's so cute. And I'll show you the back of it too because you can actually see the numbers on the back side as well. So let's start over here when they were just tiny. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. Remember this photo from Christmas time? So funny. Wow. Some of my favorite photos too. And then the last one is the one in the pool. Cause they're big girls now. <laughs> so yeah, that's what that looks like there. And then just to cover like the sticky part, I put like a little star at the top there. But this is gonna be so cute because these are the two areas I think people will be in the most is going to be our kitchen and then also 
the area over here in our dining room, which this room is very hard to fill because it's so massive. So I wanted to have really separate areas. Like this is going to be an area to get your treats and you know, the cake, look at the cakes and everything like that. And then this is going to be a picture area where you can take photos. This is gonna be a sit down area. And then over here we'll do the, like the presents and everything. So I just wanted to make sure it's very separated for people to like sit down and kind of do separate things so everyone's not always standing in one place because that's the thing. When we have parties, everyone's in the kitchen. Everyone's in the kitchen. So I want kids to be over here or outside and then adults can be in the kitchen and just so everyone's not jam packed in one area. So I think I did a pretty good job on separating everything. I think everything looks pretty nicely set up and just spread out, which was very important for me. So I've got my coffee latte right here, which I have not finished. It's probably cold right now, but right here, I just have some of the candy that we're gonna be putting out. So these are little to-go popcorn bags. We have some pink chocolate coins. We have some more candy over here. Um, and then this, I was just trying the Polaroid last night. I took a little picture of Maxi, so they're gonna have fun with this today. And they can like take some of those home, then I can keep some. And right here, we're gonna be get, taking out the cupcakes after, so I just got this. This came in a set from the party store, so you just put them in the cupcakes. And then some of these unicorn cups I got from the, or no, sorry, this was the set from Amazon that I got. So these cups were from there. These cups are from the party store. I got plates, these ones right here, which are like separate, uh, separate food, which is awesome for the adults. And over here, we just have even more stuff. So we have cupcakes, more utensils, we've got chips, we've got wine, we've got a little bit of everything. So I want to quickly show you guys these. So since it's daytime, I thought the mama bears can have these little like champagne spritzers. They look really good. I've actually had this one and they're really nice. Um, so yeah, I got a ton of these. And then also for the kids, I got juice. There's some pop water, of course, uh, but a little bit of everything. There's different little areas too that have like little unicorn things that I put. So there's a picture of Ryan and the girls. We have like right here, the forks and knives and stuff like that and little unicorn cups. We have more of this, which just came in like a little party set that I got from the party store. So I just thought this would be cute for like decor around the kitchen and stuff. And then right here, a picture of the girls. And if I could have done one thing different, I would have actually got two of these tablecloths, which I bought this on Amazon. And it was really hard to find one that was this size, which was really large. So I'll leave a link down below on the one I bought. If you have like a really long table, I would have got this from the for the island as well because I actually don't like this one as much and I will tuck this in once uh, the party starts and stuff. So I haven't done that yet, but I just, yeah, I don't like this one as much. It's, it's mermaid themed, I think, like unicorn mermaid themed, but it's just kind of like a cheaper material and it just doesn't look as good. Like it's a little, Nah, I don't know. I would have I would have gone with the other one I think and just got two and then also this is where the food is going to be sitting like the catered food I got I got tongs and stuff like this from the party store I also got bigger plates. This is going to be like for fruits and veggies and stuff We got some platters as well. The girls are playing right now. Hi boo-boos. Are you playing? Grandma's watching you while mama's vlogging in your little birthday outfit <laughs> And then right over here, I got these little rainbow balloons. These are from the party store as well. And then right over here, we actually have a big basket full of stuff for the kids to do outside. We got like unicorn bubbles, we got rackets, we're gonna have prizes and games. There's boys there too, so I wanted to get like something for him, Ninja Turtles. And right here, we just have some bubbles and fun stuff. So that's all outdoor activities. They're also gonna be swimming because Ryan's heating the pool right now. Right here, these are my favorite tutus of all time. These are the ones I got off Etsy. So they're all rainbow colors and the girls wore these on their birthday shoot. They're gonna be wearing them today as well. So we got two. I just have to fluff them out. They're really easy to fluff out though. Usually tutus get all messed up, but these are really easy to actually fix. So yeah, really like those. And then right here, this is just gonna be like a seating area. I put some chairs here. We have some toys. This is gonna be like a sit down, maybe put some um, cartoons on for some of the kids that are a bit older. And I honestly like, I didn't know what to do with these shelves because I told you I don't have a lot of decor right now. But right here we just have some unicorns uh, up here. Might as well show you the decor. So I just put those up there. Those from, uh, were from our friend Trina. And then, yeah, just like little pieces of decor up there. We have the new 
baskets I got them for Halloween. We have some books right here just to fill in the spaces a little bit, which I think looks pretty good. Right here we have the unicorns where the girls can sit down on these. These were from Trish for their birthday, so cute. We have another rainbow right here, which is the entrance to the washroom. So I just wanted to have something here. And then this is the section right when you walk in. So this is where they can take their shoes off. I wanted to have some unicorn stuff going on. We have these two ginormous unicorn balloons. So these are right in the entrance when you walk in. Look how cute they are. So those are from the party store and I got little hearts at the end there. They came with them, they're so cute. So I just got two big ones for the entrance. And then right here we have some unicorns that I just put into a little basket, all different kinds. This is actually for our front door. So it says dream big little one. And this I got from the party store. So I thought that would look really cute on our front door. Okay, so last thing we got here, these are also from the party store. So it says first birthday girl with a big one. So Ryan is gonna put this in our front yard, which are just so adorable. I never even thought of this until I saw them. And I just think it's a really good idea. So he still has to do that. Other than that, we are pretty much good to go. I think our house is looking like a unicorn house and everything is magical for the girls and I'm so excited for their first birthday. It's more exciting than any of my birthdays I've ever had. Like, I just am so excited for today and their big day in turning one years old. So, we're so excited for them. This room is so bright, by the way, so the lighting's gonna change as I'm filming, but it's just such a nice, bright room, great for photos, and I think we're gonna have a lot of fun in this room. So I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. It is early in the morning, I have to get ready. We have a lot to do, we have to get the girls ready. Luckily, we have my mom here. Ryan's mom is gonna come soon to help. Ryan right now is doing the backyard, so he's cleaning it up. We're gonna have kids out there, there's outdoor games. So I'll try to vlog here and there so you guys can kind of see what's going on, but I hope you enjoyed seeing all the decor. Okay, so I just wanted to quickly show you my outfit. Um, I'm a unicorn. I'm a unicorn mama. Of course, I had to dress up as a unicorn to match my girl. So I actually got this headband from Claire's and I loved the colors on it. It's really pretty. And then this tutu is from Bliss, to, uh, Bliss Tool and I've had it for years actually because I used it for like all my branding shoots. You guys probably recognize it. And then I'm just wearing a tank top with it. So. I'm in a rush, we have about half an hour until the girls' birthday starts. I'm so excited, we're just feeding them. I have my mom, Ryan's mom helping, Ryan's showering right now. And yeah, mama is ready. So, so excited. Good morning. I wanted to pop on here because I realized there was no ending to this vlog. We got so busy yesterday and the girls had so much fun. They were opening up a ton of presents and it was the cutest thing ever. They were so sh surprised and shocked. Uh, but I have, I like, didn't even finish opening up some of the presents. They're really all over the house right now. It's so crazy how spoiled they were. We have cards everywhere. We had, this was really cute actually. A few of our friend's kids actually made this for the girls. So cute. So I like, it was actually t uh, wrapping paper. So I tried to keep it. I think that's a really cute little keepsake. They have like... Oh my goodness, so much stuff. And also this was from my mom. She got them Pandora bracelets right here that say M and then there's an S one. And it says family and there's some like unicorn charms and stuff. So there's stuff everywhere. But if you guys want me to do a vlog, let me know because there's so much to share. I have a lot of cleaning to do today actually, but yeah. <laughs> Lots to uh, lots to clean, lots to still open. They got so many little unicorn cards, so I put some up right now. I'm still going through the bags. They're all unicorn though. Look how cute these ones are right here too. Minnie Mouse, adorable, so cute. That one's from Ryan's mom. And oh my goodness, we had such a good time yesterday. Best birthday ever. You like the microphone, Sophia? What about your dolly? Oh, yeah, that's your dolly. Yes. Oh, so many new fuzzies. So this is pretty much where I'm going to end the vlog. Cleaning is going down today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing though, like all the decor, all the work that I put into it. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next vlog.